Okay, well, I may have just found my first ever silver spoon here. Uh, you can see the little golf motif at the top, two clubs in the ball. Came out the hole really strange, it was looking all sort of white. Uh, it went through a period of flakiness, but it settled down. Um, yeah, I've actually nicked it a little bit there, but underneath it's gave it that silver shining through. And there are hallmarks in the back. One of them's definitely um, the Lion for Sterling and the uh, Maker's initials are WH, but I'm just, I'm not sure if it is actually silver or not. That silver shining through there's given me a good idea that it is. And I've had this other item before that went this purple colour before I cleaned it up. But a lovely wee complete spoon, whatever. Nice one to find. Kel, I'm out with Mr. John Cree today. He's invited me down to the park. I um, started off, had a George V penny, uh, brass thrown the bit, 1937, George VI, and from this hole here, a five coin spill. Um, they're all George VI, you can see they're a lovely ship, half penny. Nice condition penny. Two usual condition thrown the bits. And another nice ship half. So, only been here about 20 minutes and got a good 7 coins already. John's found a wee silver sixpence. He got an absolutely beautiful half crown yesterday. Um, so, here's hoping. And uh, I'll get back to my birthday hunting, see if I can turn up any silver. So, just got both of these lovely little artifacts for the same hole. Only about 3 inches down, so I'm presuming they're same period as the George VI coins, uh, probably 1940s thereabouts. But uh, a Jesus cross and a little badge, I can't quite make out the writing on it, I'm going to give it a wee clean up, but there's detail front and back on it. So it can flip over. So yeah, that's nice. Quite happy with that. Ok, well there's my next hole, oh, about 5 or 6 inches down, I've recovered one of these, I have absolutely no idea what it is, but it's got some beautiful detail on it. Does that say Drachma? It's a strange one, 3 IV and 4 Drachm, I don't know, that's a weird one, <laughs> never seen anything like it before, quite thick as well. Give that a wee uh, brush up and see if I can get a year off that, but nice. Glad to have found that. Well, here we go, and unexpected news I believe I've just turned up a Turner or a Bobby, uh, possibly as far back as Charles II here. You can just make out the thistle in the front of it with the crown at the top. But it will need a good soak and oil to get any detail off this one. Um, I can see the thistle, the crown thistle, so I've seen that as consistent with Charles II. Um, and as far as I know there weren't any commemorative issues of these, so it could be a very old coin from this park. Fantastic. Ok so I've come out tonight and uh, I mean it's the first real good signal I had, dug it, 
from about five inches comes up this Edinburgh halfpenny. So that's the uh, three towers on the front of the castle uh, and the shield anchor at the top. Uh, Edinburgh coat of arms, coat of the city. And on the back, and a date at the very bottom of 1790. So that's a fantastic copper Edinburgh regional token uh, from the late 1700s. Uh, got that ID on Facebook, <laughs> basically before the coin was dry. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, thanks to Alan for that. But great we find when I'm delighted with tonight. Good stuff. Okay, so I've come out on Sunday here, um, had an Elizabeth 1963 shilling so far. Uh, I think I've just pulled up my first Georgian coin from this field in a wee while. Um, it's little to no detail on it, but came out a nice wee coin ball just out of the end of the plug just there, so only about five inches down or so, maximum. But looks like maybe a good wee area that I've missed in this field, so get back to it, see if I can turn up anything else.